Once there was a monk, a little monk who lived by himself in a little clay hut. He prayed. He wove baskets from palm leaves, and when people from the city came to visit, he tried to help them with their problems. The little monk wore a coarse brown robe, ate bread and broth, and had, all, had almost nothing to call his own, except for a book, a very special book, which he treasured and read every day. One day, a robber came to the visit the monk, a big robber, a bad robber, with a great bushy beard and a long sharp sword. Give me your treasure, he shouted. So the little monk gave him the book, the very special book, and watched sadly as the robber rode away. When the robber reached the city, he went to see a shopkeeper. I have no use for books, he complained. I need gold and lots of it. Tell me what this book is worth and I shall sell it. I cannot say, said the shopkeeper, flicking through the pages, but I know someone who can. Leave it with me for a day or two and I will ask him. All oh, right, growled the robber, pulling out his sword. I will return in two days. Make sure the book is here when I get back. Later that day, when the shopkeeper had closed, the shopkeeper climbed on his donkey and rode out into the desert. He rode for mile after dusty mile until he came at last to a little clay hut and he went in to visit the little monk. I have a book, he explained. A big man with a bushy beard brought it to me. He wants me to sell, to sell it. Can you tell me how much it is worth? Then he pulled the book out of his bag and showed it to the monk. The little monk stared at the book. He had never imagined that he would see his treasure again. But he did, but he did not grab for it and shout, this is mine, or point his finger at the shopkeeper and say, your customer is a thief. No, all he said was this is a very valuable book, worth at least a year's wage. Then he bid the shopkeeper farewell. When the robber returned to the city, he was in a terrible mood. So Tommy, he grunted, how much is my book worth? A great deal, grinned the shopkeeper, a year's wages at least. The robber's mood changed at once. Excellent, he smiled, and how can you be sure of that? That's easy, explained the shopkeeper. There is a little monk who lives out in the desert in a little clay hut. He knows all about these things. I took the book and showed it to him. The robber's mood changed once again. A little monk, he stammered, out in the desert. That's right, and you told him I wanted to sell the book? A big man with a bushy beard. That's what I said. And he said nothing more about the book. Nothing about me? No, of course not. Why should he? asked the shopkeeper. No reason, lied the robber. No reason at all. Then he grabbed the book and dashed out of the shop as quick as a thief. He rode out into the desert, mile after dusty mile, until he came to the little hut clay hut. What's all this about? he shouted as he burst through the door. You could have turned me in and had me arrested but instead you said nothing that's right the monk nodded for i'd already forgiven you forgiven me the robber cried forgiven me and then his voice grew very quiet no one has ever forgiven me he whispered H hated me chased me and vowed to take revenge yes but forgiven me never and at that moment something melted in the heart of the big bad robber he had pulled the book out of his sack and gave it to the monk this is yours he said meekly i can keep it no longer the monk smiled and thanked the robber he invited him to stay in the little hut to learn more about forgiveness and peace and it wasn't long before that robber became a monk himself who shared with the with others what little he had and lived in lived happily ever after and I'll be a